Good morning. Today we're going to upgrade the firmware of the iRangeX IRX4 Lite. The IRX4 Lite and most multi-protocol modules out there are derived from the multi-protocol module open source project by Pascal Langer and Gobrich. This means that the firmware is readily available on the web. The other good news is that unlike all their multi-protocol modules, the IRX4 Lite already has a USB port as well as a built-in bootloader. The bootloader is what allows us to load new firmware. So there's no more messing around with soldering header pins and FTDI adapters as you did with older multi-protocol modules. All you need are the files from the multi-protocol module project, the Arduino IDE, and a micro USB cable. I'll provide the necessary links in the description below. Let's get started. First. We plug in the micro USB cable and then we go to the GitHub repository of the multi-protocol module project. So while we're here, if you like this project and you want to support further development, definitely please consider making a donation. Let's check the version. So it's currently at 1.2.1.76. Let's copy the URL. Let's make a folder. and clone the repository. Take note that we're getting the latest and the greatest, so this will be um, one version ahead of the last release. Okay, so we're done. Let's open the folder. Open the multi-protocol subfolder and look for the multi-protocol.ino file. and open it. This launches the Arduino IDE. So let's go to Arduino, Preferences, and then let's add the board's definition URL. Let's go to Tools, Board, and Boards Manager. So let's look for the multi-protocol module boards. And here they are. So let's install the STM32 version.
and it's done. Let's close this window. Tools again, board. This time you can choose the multi protocol module. And then tools. Make sure the debug option is set to none. And then select the port where the multi protocol module is attached. Okay, so let's verify. It's done, looks good, so let's upload. And finally it's done. So let's unplug it and plug it to the X-Lite. And that's it. The firmware is now version 1.2.1.77. Thank you for watching.